Our next speaker uh, is the video game archivist and comics librarian at the University of Michigan. Are you for real? Is that your job title? Yeah. <laughs> Someone talking all the titles at North Campus. Please give up a big welcome for Dave Carter. Hi everyone, uh, yes, I am the video game archivist and comics librarian at the University of Michigan, which is a job that 12-year-old Dave would have thought was really cool. Um, 10 years with the CVGA, which means I've been talking about it for 10 years, which means I have anticipated many of your questions that you've been asking first, wait a minute, U of M has a video game archive? Um, yes, we're part of the University Library. We opened uh, 10 years ago this month in November of 2008. We're in the Duderstadt Center on North Campus. It's okay, you can take a bus to get up to North Campus up there. Um, and our goal is to support the teaching and research interests of the University of Michigan students and faculty and staff as it relates to games. Um, this is what it looks like, which is probably not what was in your mind when you first thought about the CVGA. Um, but we have game stations and games available for people to play um, up there. Uh, that's pretty awesome. What kind of stuff do you have? We have about 8,000 different games available right now. Uh, for Actually, it's more than 80 uh, different gaming systems um, when I last counted, as opposed to when I put these slides together. Um, we cover from 1970s to the present. Uh, our main collection is consoles and handhelds and microcomputers, um, specifically all that stuff up there, which I'm not really expecting you to read, uh, but we have um, almost every single major North American gaming platform that was released. And we also have a ton of microcomputers, um, and we have um, handhold things, as I, as I mentioned. Um, here's, um, if you want to see what 8,000 games on a wall looks like, that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, that's one of our um, games that we have, the Atari VCS, and Intellivision, a uh, Coleco. Those are some of our older platforms that we have available. Do we have anything besides video games? Why, yes, we do. Uh, we have board games, we have tabletop role-playing games such as Dungeons and Dragons and the like. Um, we have game soundtracks available for you to listen to. We have books, journals, magazines, other secondary uh, sources. We also have ephemera like posters and tchotchkes and those sorts of things. It's really cool. Where do you get all those games? Um, about half of our game collection was donated to us. Um, people have this stuff in their basements and they don't want to throw it away, but they don't want to see it go to waste, so they give it to us. We also purchase stuff. Um, older games we'll purchase off places like eBay and stuff like that. Newer games we purchase from retailers. Can I check out the games and take them home? No, I'm sorry, you cannot. Um, games must be played in the archive. We maintain all the necessary equipment for you to, to be able to play all these games. We try to um, preserve the original gaming experience as much as possible. But what can you do in the CVGA? You can play games. You can play games for research purposes. You can play games as part of a class. And you can come and play games for recreational purposes. Awesome. Um, slide of it. Research, really? You can do research? Uh, yes, here's some examples. Um, architecture students have used it. Um, English paper topics have been written on game things. Um, students have looked at how games represent different uh, aspects of culture and society, Japanese culture, samurai, mafia, women, etc. How games represent humanity and race, looking at gaming avatars and what sort of customizations are available to you. Game design, obviously, if you want to make games, it helps to be able to see how games work. Um, people have studied language um, and area studies and things like that to understand different cultures and understand different languages. You said classes in video games? Oh my gosh, yes, you can take a class about video games. Um, just this semester, fall 2018, classes in American culture, comp lit, education, Electrical engineering and computer science, um, psychology, screen arts and culture, a uh, class on zombies and video games, that's pretty awesome. Can I just come in and play games? Yes, you can. When it's not reserved for teaching and research, uh, the CVJ is open for your play. Uh, photo ID is required, minors under 13 must be accompanied by an adult. Smash Brothers can only be played on Fridays. Um, what else can you do? Um, we are, we're, a, we're really a hub, a center for the gaming community on campus. Uh, we also have hosted games and symposia with our colleagues here at the Ann Arbor District Library. We've had a gender and gaming symposium and an art and gaming symposium. We may do some more in the future. Uh, what are some things you've learned? We've learned a lot. We've learned that people cannot play Smash Brothers quietly, which is why it's restricted to Fridays. Um, older gaming systems are remarkably robust. They have fewer moving parts, which means they don't break down as much. Games are great for language learning because they have procedural things. Oh my gosh, we're on to the next slide. Um, how do you preserve games? Um, we acquire what we can. If we acquire it, we're going to try to preserve it. We try to get extra copies. We clean games. We repair and replace. Um, but generally speaking, access trumps preservation. We want to be able to play the games. We don't just want to store them. Um, show me don't, don't do what we do, which is put your games in a cardboard box. Um, try to have a little something better for that. Um, you see we have lots of different gaming systems. Like when Nintendo goes bad, we just pull another one off the wall and put it in its place so people can use it. We clean stuff, WD-40. Um, what sort of things are you working on now? A few uh, things we're doing. 
doing. Um, we're working this semester on copying old microcomputer games for Deep Dark Archive. We're working with a couple of our other colleagues in the library and collecting and archiving queer interactive fiction. We hope soon uh, to get more in depth with accessible gaming and uh, VR and AR gaming as it goes. Oh my gosh, I have so many more questions. Um, you can learn about us on the web. Um, uh, we have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, UMCVGA. You can also Google us, um, Google Computer and Video Game Archive. More information will come up. Thank you very much for your time. That was a very fast five minutes. I will say the archive is very cool. You should go check it out. Um, you know, take a day off, find a friend, uh, go when the kids are at school.